Yeah, this is a tutorial on how to get virtual sound check activated using Dante and Allen and Heath D Live consoles. Right now, I have a C1500, which is a compact class of controller. I have down here a DM0 and a DX168 just for some a couple of external inputs on channel 1 and 2. And you see I have a MacBook Pro and the other piece of hardware that's critical is I have a Dante sound card. It's a 64 by 64. And you can see I'm connected with the yellow Ethernet cable and that goes into this adapter that goes to Thunderbolt for my MacBook Pro. So that's pretty much the hardware side of things that I have. And as far as software goes, um, you're going to need a few pieces of software. Let's start with uh, called the Dante controller. And if you can see that, I have transmitters and receivers. That's kind of how the Dante controller works. Um, essentially what I'm doing is I'm sending the output of the laptop, which is here, the transmit side of the MacBook Pro, channels 1 through 32 at the moment, uh, are going to the receivers of the Allen and Heath. So you can see as I minimize that. And then for recording purposes, I'm taking the transmitter of the Allen Heath and I'm patching it to the receiver of the MacBook Pro. So basically you're using in virtual sound check mode which I am now the MacBook Pro is playing 32 inputs through the Dante card into the Allen Heath and then for recording purposes you're sending 32 um, outputs from the Dante card to the MacBook Pro. So those are the two scenarios that I've basically configured it for. Now you can do 32 inputs at 96K or 64 inputs at 48K. So that's essentially the Dante controller. And as more devices are on the network, they would show up here as transmitters and receivers. So the other piece of software that I have that is critical is Dante Virtual Sound Card. Now essentially it's a utility that runs and will continue to run. You configure the number of audio channels, 32 by 32, 64 by 64, 16 by 16, 8 by 8. There's a latency time, which they said when you're using for recording purposes, 10 milliseconds are fine. If you're playing back live, you would want it shorter than that. And then the network interface, if you have more than uh, one NIC card and the connection status. The IP address there, 169.254. Uh, those are auto assigned, so because I don't have a DHCP server, I just have a direct connection between the laptop and the Dante card. I don't have any way to assign IP, so that one's default. So you don't need a router or a DHCP server for this to function. You just need the cabling. And it will look for a DHCP server, and if it doesn't see one, it'll automatically assign an IP, normally beginning with 169, and both devices will have a number that will be able to talk. So that's the way they communicate. And so the Dante sound card will just kind of run in the background. Once you launch it, you can see the stop button there. I could shut it off. And the other piece of software is your DAW or your workstation, which this can both record and play back. You can select as many tracks, I think, as you would need. Uh, this is Tracks Live. Uh, available at Wave's website. Um, it was a free download and they actually had a this session that you see playing here 
available for testing purposes so I downloaded it so I had something to play with and you see I just got a loop going so it constantly keeps playing back that section of track and then for recording purposes for each track you just hit and that record enable button comes up and that puts that in the record mode and then when you hit the record button here that would uh, put the session or, or actually record the tracks that are record enabled onto your laptop so I'll disable those for the time being and anyway the other thing I wanted to say is that um, you want to let me stop this for a second go into file preferences and you have to make sure that the interface has the Dante virtual sound card uh, selected because when I first started it it didn't have it of course the virtual sound card program has to be running otherwise that option won't even be available and then you want to select multi multi out and my uh, input outputs auto populated but you can customize that if you need to and turn off tracks as available or if you wanted to use less or more tracks you can um, enable or disable from this box as well anyway so that's the the track software is very easy to use and uh, it's ideal for virtual sound check live so let me go ahead and hit play again and we'll get that going and that is playing back you can see I have a orange box that says virtual sound check active now to make it inactive now what what happened there was as soon as I went active those channels that were assigned to something else became active so I have this player that was playing through channels one and two that just became active as soon as I went inactive on the virtual sound check so I go back to virtual sound check mode and those inputs from the laptop came back up now for recording purposes there's another button that says record send and when I hit that, oh, I got some awful hot audio. Then those tracks in the record send mode, and you can see on virtual sound check, it says 1 through 28, but I can only select 64. As soon as I get back 64, you'll see, and just go unavailable so basically that's how you select um, what channels are being sent for recording it you can see it selects the surface IO port 4 which is where the Dante card is plugged into and uh, you of course you the the patching on the Allen Heath is astounding so you can patch anything to send from any location but I'm just using 1 through 32 uh, just to make it simple and with the record send mode you can see I've got um, in between songs of course alright so channels 1 and 2 are active from this music player and you can see I'm still playing so I'm gonna stop this and show you how you go in record mode so then, to make tracks recordable, you hit record enable, and you see that channels one and two are now active from channels one and two on the console. And you can see if I mute there, they're still active here. So all your muting functions for for local on the uh, console uh, are not disruptive on your record sends. So that's something you should know. So anyway, that's how you record by re hitting the record enable mode for each track.
which I won't destroy this recording, but I uh, just wanted to show you how you bounce back between the two modes, record, send, and virtual sound check. Because if I, if I disable record, send, or just go inactive, then essentially all your feeds will get interrupted and your software won't be receiving, your laptop won't be receiving any audio. Anyway, I hope this makes sense. I hope this illuminates the process a little bit more. I think uh, the thing that I got stuck on is I was able to send audio to the laptop um, without issue, but in order to get the virtual sound check mode to work, you actually have to direct sound the other way in the Dante controller network. So you have to send audio from the MacBook or the your laptop to the Dante card. So your Dante card becomes a receiver at that point and your laptop becomes the transmitter. And I hope this makes sense. But so you're sending audio one way for recording and you're sending audio the other way for virtual sound check. And then that what the beauty of the system is just a virtual push of the button does all the switching at the console level. So anyway, just want to give you a little bit of help on how to get that going. Um, and just remember you can do 32 channels uh, at 96K and 64 channels at 48K. All right, good luck. Thanks.